skier's thumb. The skier thumb is an ulnar collateral ligament injury which occurs due to a fall on the hand with the thumb stretched out. The skier thumb, also known as the gamekeeper thumb, both are similar. Both involve insufficiency of the ulnar collateral ligament of the thumb. The skier thumb is a term used for acute condition when there is an abduction injury of the MCP joint of the thumb. The gamekeeper thumb is called in chronic conditions as a result of stretching and the hyperabduction of the MCP joint of the thumb. When the injury occurs, a tear or possible avulsion of the ligament may occur at the site of insertion of the ligament into the pharynx of the thumb. Stenor lesion. The torn ligament or the avulsion fracture may become entrapped by the aponeurosis of the adductor pollicis muscle. The ruptured ligament or the avulsed fragment is less likely to heal without surgical treatment. A stenar lesion is present in about 80% of complete ruptures involving the ulnar collateral ligament of the thumb. Injury to the ulnar collateral ligament is characterized by painful swelling and weakness when grasping with the thumb. A bruise-like discoloration may be present on the skin around the joint. Diagnosis is usually done by clinical exam and distress views. A stress views examination. A local anesthesia is given when doing the stress views. The ulnar collateral ligament is stress test in full extension is the best to test the accessory collateral portion of the ligament. In flexion, the proper portion of the ligament is tested. The proper portion of the ligament will usually fail first followed by the accessory portion of the ligament. If the joint is unstable when testing in full extension, then both portions of the ligaments are torn. Significance of angulation in stress views. The angle between the first metacarpal and the proximal pharynx is assessed. A stress test in extension with the abduction of the thumb more than 40 degree in extension indicates a complete injury, or compared to the other side of the thumb, a difference of 15 degree is positive for the injury. Treatment includes, if it is partially torn, use a thumb spike splint. It usually heals without surgery. If it is completely torn, surgery is important, especially with the presence of a stenar lesion. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.